Introduction to ICD-10 coding for iCare webinar. This is an excerpt from our webinar recorded August 22nd, 2013. My name is Jeffrey Restuccio. I'm a certified coder and specialist in coding and billing for iCare. My contact information is on the screen and you can reach me at the iCoding forum on the bottom of the screen. Introduction to ICD-10. Again, we have a complete six-hour course, and the four different modules are listed on the screen in the approximate number of slides. Note that the introduction is available separately for only $49. ICD-10 is an updated system for the reporting of diseases, conditions, and other factors affecting healthcare, such as injuries and adverse effects. New ICD-10 codes must be used after October 1, 2014. ICD-10 has 140,000 codes compared to only 17,000 ICD-9 codes. Each ICD-10 CM code consists of three to seven characters, the first being a letter of the alphabet, the second a number, and then the rest either alpha or numeric. In 2013, your goal should be to get an overall feel for the new diagnosis coding system. In mid to late 2014, it is time to learn all the specific new codes. Now, much of the increase is due to bilateral disease codes, meaning we now have a separate code for right, left, bilateral, and unspecified, and this applies to anything you have two of, such as eyes. There is also increased specificity. Some codes are now combination codes where two codes are required with uh, ICD-9, only one will be required for ICD-10. Also, there are new disease phrasing and coding guidelines in ICD-10. For ICD-10 training, understand that not all training courses are equal. The last thing you want is simply a list of 90 plus pages of every ICD-10 code and disease. The key is value-added information, which would include enhanced descriptions and explanations of the diseases and descriptions for coding and billing staff, an explanation of the larger picture, also exceptions, acronyms, and alternative descriptions, including the ICD-9 codes that do not crosswalk to an ICD-10 code. Clinical discussion and knowledge of the new codes, organizing the codes and code groups, key ICD-10 coding concepts. Now, it is best to learn these early and practice them often. The goal is to create good documentation and coding habits. Technically, ICD-10 training for staff and training for providers is different. Staff need more explanation and clarification of diseases and their purpose, whereas providers need to understand the nature and format of ICD-10 and documentation requirements. Both groups need to know general guidelines, but clinical staff should not become coders. For implementation, I recommend establishing a specific implementation plan. I do not re recommend, um, I do recommend early in 2014 to begin adding right and left to every eye diagnosis in your documentation. Also for the lacrimal glands, you should always uh, list either eyelids or lacrimal glands specifically in all documentation starting in 2014. Establish a training schedule. Learn the structure, organization, and unique features of ICD-10. Use assessment tools to identify areas of strengths and weaknesses in medical terminology and medical record documentation. Now, most experts recommend uh, up to 16 hours of training for providers and staff. However, for optometrists, the number will be lower, and I would say about six hours should be sufficient for most optometry offices. Now, for ophthalmologists, more training is required in retinal diseases and conditions related to surgical procedures. For hospital coders, additional training will be required concerning the sequencing of disease codes. I recommend an audit of provider documentation 
as early as possible. You should review any documentation concerning ICD-10 from carriers. Medicare is always your first source. Next would be Blue Cross Blue Shield in your area. You should review your practice management and your EMR system for ICD-10 updates. And again, in 2014, your ICD-10 review team should meet periodically, either once a month or every month, to check on the status of the ICD-10 implementation. Establish a team leader for transition. All fee tickets must be reworked. I recommend doing this at least three to six months before October 1st, 2014. Remember, remember that you may have to rethink how you select codes for diseases and conditions. Most clinics currently use a fee ticket or cheat sheet. However, with the great increasing codes and the size of the manual, it may be a good idea to look at an ICD-10 search tool. We have one on the iCoding forum, and there's a 30-day free trial. Again, this is just a, a short introduction. My complete uh, introduction uh, module is 68 slides, and the complete course is six hours and available at icodingforum.com. Thank you for attending.